Morning my lovelies and welcome back to my channel and another video. It is a hella early morning this morning. It is 5 a.m. Ah, that is so early. I've been quite nice with the neighbours. I've got up this morning and I have done my shellac nails. Is it going to focus? No. They're like a blue kind of sparkly colour. Anyway, I'm sweating because you know that morning sweat when you get up really early and you've literally had like one hour and a, one and a half hours sleep? That is the morning sweat I'm having right now, and I'm trying to find my freaking denim jacket. Not my denim, my flipping um, leather jacket, and I can't find it. And Luke has gone out in my car to get something from his dad's, um, which I don't know why, because his dad's coming to pick us up in a minute anyway, but you know. Who knows? Anyway, today's vlog is just going to be like a trip to Glasgow. I'm not sure if I'm going to do two separate vlogs, like travelling down and going out for dinner and stuff tonight, or if I'm going to just do like a collage of two days, because as I said, on my last vlog, if you've watched that one, and if you haven't, I suggest you go and watch it, because it's like me getting ready for going to Glasgow today, um, then I sort of explained in that video that it's like Lou's 30th birthday treat, and I'm going with Lou's uncle and his dad, and obviously I don't want to get the camera out at all times at dinner and things like that, so it's really going to be like a full vlog featuring me. <laughs> well, it always is, because no one ever wants to come in the vlogs apart from my mum and dad and that. Anyway, <laughs> I am rambling, and I will see you guys probably at some point on the way to Glasgow, or maybe when I'm trying to burn time while Lou's playing golf. I will see you all at some point soon, and I'm sure it won't be 5am next time I see you. Ah. Suitcase down there. So I'm ready to go. I haven't put any makeup on because there's probably not much point because it's going to take us four hours to get to where we need to get. Um, just straightened my hair, got an off-the-shoulder top, jeans and boots and my leather jacket when I find it. I think it's in the boot of my car when we went to those shipping containers the other week. But anyway, I'm going to go because I'm ready. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things it took from me at the golfing place. Um, I'm sat in the back of um, Lou's uncle's car. And we went in first for like bacon rolls and they had like coffees and I just kind of sat there like, ah, totally not in my comfort zone area here right now. There is super, and I mean super rich cars around me right now. And I'm just sat chilling in the back of Murder's car, totally at ease that I am not near any of these golfers. I haven't got any makeup on, but I'm absolutely, and I mean absolutely shattered now. The tiredness has hit me, so Lou brought a pillow with him. So let's just hope none of these people are walking by me in their posh suits and golf gear look in the car and think, what the heck is that girl doing sleeping in the car? I actually think the back windows of this car are blacked out. I'm going to do a double check before I go to sleep. But yeah, I'm going to have a little snooze. I'm actually going to show you my view just now. I actually sat down. I wish I took my camera in, but obviously I couldn't because I only read purse and stuff. And I was with Lou and his uncle originally. So anyway, I sat down in the, the cafe place thingy. And I was just so... Like, I can't explain the feeling of it. But like, put me in a and ms a Poundland. Home bargains, totally in my comfort zone. Put me in somewhere with everyone dressed all fancy, you know not saying that they're rude or anything because they're not there was a couple of like people that did smile at me but i just don't like the vibe you know um i'm quite happy to just be in a premier in for the night <laughs> i don't know do you know what i mean just um put me in a in my fave shops and things like that um i'm not all about this lifestyle like let, let, let me show you let me show you so this is like the spa and the golf cafe thing. There is some mega rich cars around like Range Rovers and that and I've got the car like a, a jad open because it is quite hot and Murdo did say to me, Lou's uncle, he said do you want to um, put the air conditioning on and he showed me how to do it but his car is quite confusing so I'm not going to try and do it um, but I'm just going to get the pillow, put my head down for a couple of hours, hopefully get to sleep, maybe listen to some music but then I'm concerned my phone's going to run out of charge because I don't know what's going on with it but the charger's gone down so fast and Murdo hasn't got them things where you can charge your, car, your phone in the car so until we get to like the hotel later on my phone can't get charged why didn't I think about bringing a battery, like a memory battery, I don't know anyway, 
I'm at 42%. I don't know how it's gone on 42%, but yeah, it's okay. I'm just going to twitch it off and try and sleep. I don't see it happening, but I'll try. Back to the car chats. It is now... What time are we on? Just about... Oh my gosh, I shut my phone. It's like some sort of flipping frisbee there. It's now half past two. I have an update. I've been asleep for two hours or so. We got woken up by like a knock at the car door because they thought, that's, I don't know what they thought, but my door was slightly edged open and I didn't know a concern that I was in the car. I was like so embarrassed. I was like, yes, I'm fine. Thank you for waking me up. Um, I was like, I'm totally fine. I'm just, I'm just sat in a boiling car, really hating life. Um, this has just been categorically awful. I felt ill because the car has been so hot. He did tell me how to put the air conditioning on, but it's really quite fancy. I don't know how to work it. Um, I did get two hours sleep, so at least I did sleep. But it, I kept getting interrupted by people walking by. I mean, how rude. How dare they walk by my car. Like, um, Obviously, we're parked right next to a path. Oh, God, my ears hurting as well. We're parked next to a path. But anyway, I don't know if I'm going to put much makeup on because it's still so hot. And obviously, I think we're just going straight to the hotel from here, which is like a 40-minute drive. I genuinely cannot wait to get to this hotel, though, and just, like, literally sh just, like lay on a bed and stretch out and have the coldest drink of water and go to the loo because I could go to that building and go to the loo but I've told a guy I'm ill now which I'm not really that ill but you know I mean I just, oh, I'm just not feeling very well so I told him to go and play golf and I'd just sleep he's like are you all right can I get you anything can I get you I'm like no I'm fine please just leave me alone I didn't say that but I was thinking it um so yeah I'm just absolutely boiling and oh I think I can see Lou actually up on the hill anyway they did say about three o'clock they'd be back, so I'm praying, it's got 25 past two, I'm praying, and I am praying to the Lord above that they're back for three o'clock, because I am so bored. Ugh. I'm so bored, and this heat is making me feel sick, and I'm, I'm like killing myself right now, because I wished, I'm like hating on myself, because I wished Lou had a really cold fresh bottle of water, and he left it at the table, and we were all sat inside the place this morning getting breakfast, and I just like, I remember thinking to myself, I'll get that drink and I forgot it. I really wish I got it because that would have really helped right now. <coughs> but I'd desperate for the toilet too, so it probably wouldn't. Anyway, rambling. Catch you all soon, somewhere. So guys, we have arrived at our destination after much um, stress trying to get here, wasn't it, Lou? It was a flipping nightmare. We could literally not find the place. But anyway, I'm going to show you our room because it is flipping amazing. So first of all, you come in and it's like a dark themed hotel, isn't it, Lou? And then you come in here. Voila! Here is the bathroom. How amazing it's like bathroom goals that it's all grey and it's just luscious. And there's me looking very um hot and sweaty from that journey. Um here's the bathroom, very nice. This is what our bathroom would be like if I could do it myself. It's lovely. Love it. Then you come out here. <laughs> please, please, I didn't know. You come out here and here is the bedroom. Oh my goodness. It feels like you're in New York, Lee, or somewhere. There's me, whoa. Um, big TV on the wall. Another full length mirror, perfect for taking the perfect selfie. And then out here, it's just. And then over here, you've just got some pictures on the wall, a huge bed, let's do the bed test. Oh, it's nice and soft. Lee's not impressed, because he likes a hard bed. But ah, I thought I'd just pull my ear out. But yeah, I'm really chuffed with it. Ah, that really hurt. Just pulled my ear out. Um, I mean, it's really, really nice. Um, which side are you sleeping at, Lee? That side? Mm -hmm. I'm sleeping at this side, close to the window. Yeah, I'm really chuffed with the room. It is amazing. I'm taking Love my it. flipping heels off, not heels, but like boots. Just chuck them down there. Look, guys, you can get room service. Let's have a look at their room service charges. Sort of like flipping our room service. Dial 3032 to order. Tray charge five pounds. Oh, flipping heck. I'm chilling in bed and Lou's dad's come and brought us to snack on. Max and Spencer's large king prawns and he's brought me a bottle of wine. Lush. I'm gonna pour a nice glass and eat some prawns. I'm excited. That's what you do. Um, guys, guys, I'm just having a glass of wine out of a flipping glass. Lush, now to get ready. Now the hotel is lovely, the rooms are lovely, but I do think, Lou, it's not very good if you wanna do makeup. I know you don't wear makeup, but the room's very, very dark lighting and it's not very good if you want to like, do your makeup nice. Okay, anyway, I'm going to try and get ready. 
kept it back and ready for dinner. Um, Lou's taking forever as per usual. He always takes forever. Um, so we're in the bathroom. I'm just going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you my outfit. Well, from what I can see. I went for the outfit that I showed you guys yesterday. Um, I hope in the plane, sorry it sounds so loud in the background, Lou's got line of duty on, he's become obsessed. Um, we're leaving for dinner in 10 minutes. Um, do my makeup, got my little headband in, got my thing. I'm hoping the top half doesn't look too casual for dinner. Um, but then obviously the bottom, you can't really have an outgoing top when that is your bottoms. When that's the bottoms to your outfit, I didn't really want anything too popping on the top. Do you know what I mean? Um, I should have really brought a necklace, but oh well, you win some, you lose some. But yeah, I'm gonna have a glass of wine. Hell I have. And um, looking forward to a large glass of vino and steak for dinner. Lou, you ready? <laughs> you sat there watching fucking Lion of Duty. Get off Lion of Duty. Come on. Hey, chop, chop. I'm on face. I'm on um, chatting to my YouTubers. Anyone else's boyfriends? Just like absolutely irritating. Come on. Sorry that you can hear Line of Duty in the back here, but I've just got um, a black halter neck top on if you didn't watch my other vlog. I've got these super ripped jeans, my pink um, top shop heels, really ripped jeans, Gucci belt, um, and I'm going to have it, style it with my faux Chanel. I call it my faux Chanel because it's not real. But that's my outfit. So we've got the scallops and the mushrooms for starter. We've got a glass of wine. <laughs> and Lou, what did you get? Prawn, tempura, seafood. But yeah, that's I've got, that. I've got, the, I've got these <laughs> Do you want to be uh, scallops as well. <laughs> the, <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So our main has arrived. I need to refill my wine. Um, I got a rare steak Cheers. with some fries on the side. Lou got the thick cut chips and he also got a steak. And it looks very luscious. Um, I cannot wait to get in and eat it. This is just coming back from dinner, isn't it, Lou? Like? Um, it's got this really cool, like, room key thing, I'll show you. It's, it's Wi-Fi. What a... We don't, it, oh, Lou, it's like a flipping Antarctic in here. Damn. We are in. What that? Whoosh. I know, flipping heck, so am I, Lou. Morning, my lovelies. I don't even know if I said night last night on this vlog, but anyway, I haven't got to look back at the footage. But we are now on Friday morning, and I am off shopping. Lou is off golfing. First of all, we're going to get some breakfast, and then we're going to go. I'm going to shop till I drop, and he's going to golf till he drops. Um, I'm just going to show you guys my outfit. It's kind of like a funky look I've gone for today. Not funky, but punky. So on my feet, I've got these kind of like punky... I don't know, they're just giving me like rock chick vibes. Uh, I've got this like black boot, these grey ripped skinny jeans, my Gucci belt, and then I've just got like a plain black top. Just gonna focus. A plain black top, and then I've just got this like my faux Gucci bag, you know, guys, rocking them Gucci vibes um, bag. And yeah, that is my outfit. Love it. So, guys, I'm just at Brayhead shopping. I am just about to head into Primark and I literally cannot wait. It is a huge Primark. The one I need to do is not that big and I'm so excited to go in. I'm just going to turn the camera around guys and show you now. I'm literally going to go mad here. So here we are guys. We're going in. Let's get a bag. T-shirt part, like the slogan t-shirt section. And look at this. This just made me smile walking up to it. Stop trying to make fetch happen. I just so said it in the same voice that she said it in the film. I love that. So guys, I'm in the changing rooms. Got my shoes down there. Guys, I've just realised as well. I was wondering, I only came out with one flipping sock on. So this one, I don't know, like I don't know why I did that. But anyway, I bought socks. I'm in the changing rooms, I've got my clothes here. I've got four different items I want to try on. But I think after this I might even be kitted out for my holiday. Kind of. I've got like a couple of evening outfits of sleep to get, but I think I'm feeling confident that I do have enough for holiday. Later on in the afternoon and I'm now in new look and I've just found the most amazing water bottle that could possibly ever come into my life. Like look at this. Spice up your life. Like if I can't be more bling delicious at work with my bling pens and the spice up your life water bottle, I don't know what I can be. So I'm gonna find myself in the mug sale but in new look as well because there's always some like really cool mugs. Like, look at that one. Do nothing club and I love like the pastel blue in it because for summer, you know what I mean? Keep them vibes. Oh but I've got that one but in my own star sign. Love it. That one's a nice one too, look at that. I thought I'd show you from this point of view because otherwise you'd be thinking I'm not wearing anything. Um, I am wearing a full on outfit here. No, I can talk to you as normal. We are back at the room now and it, oh sorry, excuse the tan, but I'm literally gonna go and scrub my tan off in a second. In the shower, 
We've been back at the room now for, uh, not we, I've been back at the room now for like the last hour. Took my makeup off, came back, just like literally put some loungewear vibes on and just like I've been chilling out. It's so hot in Glasgow, like so warm. I've got like snack goals right now. I've got popcorn, peas because they are incredible, at uh, Maltesers and fizzy watermelons. I am going to get a shower in a minute and just like scrub some tan off, exfoliate, put some fresh tan on um, and then just sit back on the bed and chill out and um, wait for Lou to get back from the golf. We've got a dinner booked at nine tonight. We're going to like an oriental Thai kind of place. But I got some good shopping bits. I'm not going to show you them all now because I'm going to be like videoing them, obviously. Um, that's my, my three bags here. I got a huge Primark bag, new look bag, and I got a uh, um, boots bag as well. I might actually show you what I picked up here. Let's I'll show you. So I picked up in boots. They, they gave me this really cool bag in boots, and I don't know why because I didn't buy that much. I got hay fever tablets for Lou. I then got some razors because you know I've got to keep them out it's fresh. I got some fake tan because I'm useless and I actually forgot my fake tan. Um, so it's got a normal fake tan mitt and a five in one. Apparently this is a, a, like the more expensive range than the one I use usually. So we'll see what that's like. I then picked up some um, Radox, like Bloom, this new range of Radox. I then picked up a nail varnish because my nail varnish on my toes is coming off and obviously I'm wearing heels tonight so I had to like pick up some essentials, you know what I mean? And that's what I picked up in boots and I will show you what I got in, in I got all in, in new look too because I'm not going to do a new look haul, there's absolutely no point about doing a new look haul. So in new look I got this amazing mug guys, if you don't follow me on Instagram it's at basically a princess, I will leave it here. I am the mug queen, my cupboard is full of mugs, so this is a new one to add to my collection. And it says, girls bite back, I love that, it's like, you don't think you can walk all over us girls because we are going to be winning life. That is what I thought when I read that um, mug, love it, and I love the colour of it. And then I thought, okay, do you know what, if you're also a regular on my channel, you will know that I'm a bling queen at work, like I literally... Oh, that's not, oh, that's not. Um, I'm literally the Blingalicious pen queen at work. Like I literally have a gemmed pen for work every single day. Follow my Poundland hauls if you want to know all about that. Um, and then I saw this water bottle that says spice up your life. And I was like, okay, I want some of that. So then I got this too. Literally love it too. I'm going to freshen up in the shower and just like chill out. It is currently half past six and our table's booked at nine. So I've got a few hours to just like, you know, chill about, eat some snacks. Um, and I know what I'm wearing, I'm actually so happy, like I've got, I just walked, tried my outfit on then, I've got it all laid out, and it's so good when you know what you're wearing, because then everything else has to fall in place around the outfit. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to chill out now, and yeah, I will see you guys when I'm probably more ready. Hey guys, that's me ready to go, I'm just doing a quick check in, because our taxi's literally waiting outside. Um, I've just gone for my normal usual makeup, no, makes black, no, nothing different there. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, I would like one, but it's okay. Yeah, so that sounds good. So I've got this like black blouse top on. I'm gonna show you guys in the mirror. This is my outfit here. I've got the black blouse, Gucci belt, black jeans, and silver Primark shoes. But I've literally got to go because Lou's uncle's waiting outside. So yeah, I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys. Some so, um, prawn, um, prawn toast, and we've got some um, spring roll things to be salad. A little side salad. Um, I've got my cocktail and my glass of wine. Lou's got um, prawn toast, and lush. Can't deprive them of each other. But it's quite late. It's like nearly ten o'clock. So I kind of expected. Lou's on Facetime. You can hear in the background. <laughs> oh my goodness! Our food is alive. See it. It looks like it's all It's amazing. It looks amazing. <clears throat> Can we get bored? It's okay, but we've had our dinner and now we are at my our hotel bar yeah. drinking some water because we have to walk here because there's no fucking taxi because it's just like. What's before, the before the cocktails. Before the cocktails. The best um, way of my day was. Uh, well, what I thought. What's that festival on at the, the moment that's it, it, dropped the taxi? Transmit. The, uh, 
There's a festival called Transmount, so we had to walk to our hotel, which was about how many mile, about a mile and a bit walk. We're all really thirsty, so we're drinking our um, our water. Um, can I have a large Pinot Grigio, please? Yeah, I'd be happy to. In fact, no, I'll go to the one seven five. Let's go. Yeah, of course. We haven't had the sample. Have I finished it? No. Oh, yeah. So guys, we're back home now. You're probably thinking one minute she's dri drinking vino in the posh bar and the next minute she's sat in the living room in a loungewear, living my best life with my fresh, freshly washed hair in my own bath and shower. Nothing better than getting home into your own bed, washing your hair the next morning and just feeling fresh. I'm having a lazy Sunday today. It is Sunday right now. And I'm literally about to go and upload this video and I was like, ah! I haven't even got an ending can't leave it on me sipping that wine so yeah i just want to say thank you so much if you watched right to the end of that vlog because i think it's possibly one of my longest vlogs i've ever uploaded so yeah if you've got to the end please let me know and thank you so much for watching guys i'm just about to hit 3,000 subscribers i'm one away so maybe when this video is uploaded i might have hit it so yes sunday night celebrations honestly i'll be so chuffed if i hit 3,000 tonight but thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in my next video there's loads of fun videos coming up on my channel next week there's a primark haul a h&m haul a Q&A, you know it's all going on, so if you want to see it, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Your love was cold.